Ladies and gentlemen, you saw the title, that's right. Today we're going to be discussing the biggest question in all of sports history. What would have happened if Michael, instead of being racist and starting Stanley, started Kevin Malone, the best basketball player the office ever had? So, um, what, what I, I think would have happened, right? This is completely realistic, totally realistic, definitely 100% would have happened. So, Kevin Malone drops 50 points against the warehouse, absolutely dominates him. They crush him, warehouse comes in on Saturday, does their work, it's over. Kevin, with newfound confidence, signs up for some three-on-three -three tournaments, yeah? And, and there, a scout sees him just absolutely crushing the competition, just out of this league, he's winning all of them. And a scout sees him and invites him to the Rucker Classic, right? The biggest invitational street ball tournament in all of America. And Kevin goes there and he wins. And and so Kevin gets gets invited to the draft or into the um combine and gets picked number one overall by the Heat who uh who traded up to get him. So this is this is where we're standing right now. Um in going into the twenty twenty one season. Kevin Malone, drafted number one overall. Um, these are his badges, his three finishing badges, uh, five shooting badges, no playmake ba badges, and nine defense badges. I don't know why it's not letting me go over there. All right, it doesn't want to let me go over there. But that is how we're starting. Um, he's the starting power forward, and... We'll, we'll just run it here. All right, so we made it to the All-Star break here. Um, first first season of, of Kevin Malone's career. Um, let's see what we got here. Uh, we'll make selections for both. And Kevin Malone, where, where you at? Where you at? Oh, and he's not here. That's uh, extremely disappointing. All right. <laughs> um, so, yeah, Team LeBron versus Team Giannis. Um, there's that if you guys want to look at that. Uh, so we're going to go to the game plan here, um, and let's see, Kevin Malone is the only one who's not fatigued, <laughs> so we're going to view his, view his stats here, um, 6.4 points per game, uh, he's got pretty good rebounds per game, um, other than kind of, kind of struggling, to be honest, but. You know, just his first season. He'll he'll pick it up from here, I'm sure. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna all right. We're gonna we're gonna go out of here. Um, we'll have him rebuild the rotations, and we're gonna just continue on here. Um, yeah, we'll we'll just sim to the end of the season. So. We've reached the end of the season. Um, unsurprisingly, Giannis is the MVP, averaging 27.6. Um, the Rookie of the Year is James Wiseman, not us. Um, that's not surprising. Uh, DeMarcus Cousins wins Sixth Man of the Year. Kawhi, Defensive Player of the Year. And Tony Bradley is the most improved player. Uh, the Coach of the Year is Brett Brown. So... So we're going to um, advance here and look at the uh, NBA All-Teams. We definitely didn't make any of those, so we don't have to worry about that. Um, what we're looking for here is All-Rookie. Um, we did not make, make the All-Rookie first team or the All-Rookie second team. Um, wow, Kevin Malone is really, really not living up to standards here in the NBA, especially as the first overall pick. But... Despite that, Miami has uh, made the playoffs. Is the sixth seed, um, so we're we're gonna sim this. Uh, we'll we'll sim this and see what we got here. Game one goes to Brooklyn. Game two also goes to Brooklyn. Game three goes to Brooklyn, and the Miami Heat have been eliminated. That did not that was not long lived, ladies and gentlemen. Um, so that was that was not even close here. Uh, yeah, yeah, 
the home hometown boys, Minnesota Timberwolves, making it to their second round. That's what we like to see in the Bucks. The Bucks sweep, uh, going to the Eastern Conference Finals, and the Wolves versus Golden State and Philly versus uh, Milwaukee here. All oh, could we get it? The Bucks versus the Timberwolves, the two hometown teams in the NBA Finals. Oh, oh, and the Milwaukee Bucks are NBA champions. Um, exciting run there at the end. Uh, the Finals MVP is Giannis, obviously. That's not surprising at all. Pretty close battle there between the Wolves and the uh, the Bucks. So, so now we'll advance into the off season here. Um, let's look at who's retired. Uh, Zach Randolph, Zaza, Rip Zaza, Raymond, Raymond is gone. R.I.P. Raymond, R.I.P. 69 overall. Nice, very very classy to make Raymond go out on a high note. Joakim Noah, no, devastating. Tough tough season for our boy Kevin Malone. Um, basically just got booty clapped in the NBA, <laughs> but. But Wolves versus uh, Bucks in the finals. Big, big hometown teams. Um, yeah, if you guys didn't know that, my favorite team is the Wolves. And, yeah, second favorite is, is the Bucks. So we're going to go to pro player progression here. Um, and Frank, Frank, yes, let's go. Frank has progressed, and he is on the heat. Oh, oh, absolute scenes. The absolute scenes on this man, but but uh, the, our main focus here, Kevin Malone, um, he uh, let's see what we got here. Um, really, uh, oh we we've uh, gained a couple for defensive and rebounding here. Um, oh big time intimidator, you know you know Kevin Malone, he's a scary guy, he's a scary guy. I wouldn't want to see him in a back alley, so. Uh, that's what we got. We do have the lad, Frank Kaminsky, Tyler Hero. He's from Wisconsin, too. We're just vibing here. Miami Heat um, looking like possible championship contenders coming up here. All right, so uh, starting season two, what we got here, uh, Kevin Malone. Um, he's going to be starting again at power forward. Uh, looks like Frank is going to be our sixth man. Uh, I, I can smell a sixth man of the year coming in, but Kevin Malone um, really, really kind of disappointed the league here in the first season, but he's going to try to pick it up for the second season. Um, and we'll, we'll rebuild the rotation here. But, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see what he's got here in the second season. Um, just run it back for season two, I guess. All right, so... Um, We've really, really kind of choked away what we had going here. Um, the the Heat have fallen apart. Um, 17 and 32 going into the All Star break. Luka Doncic is a All Star captain, and Kevin Durant is the other one. So we'll see if we got any players here. Um, uh, I do not see Kevin. I do not see Kevin Malone, ladies and gentlemen. So that that is that. Um, We'll see what we got here. Uh, Kevin Malone, he has dropped an over overall. Um, Frank is still getting decent minutes. Um, let's see what we got here for a stat line. Um, career stats. So this season he's averaging uh, 6.8 points per game. Um, just making some good rebounds, I guess. I don't know. He's he's quite underperforming, to be honest, for the number one overall pick in the draft. Um, so we'll we'll check Frank's stats here while we're here as well. Um, Twelve points per game. Um, so Frank Kaminsky is actually heating up for the Heat here. That was the worst joke I've made in my entire life. Um, I don't know. Frank is outshining Kevin Malone, but uh, yeah, we'll we'll uh, rebuild the rotations here, um, and yeah, that'll that'll bring us to uh, the end of the All Star break for us here. All right, lads and lasses, we have uh, come to the end of season two here. Uh, the Heat sucked, 31 and 51. Um, Luka Doncic, your MVP, 
um, averaging 29 points per game. Uh, Cade Cunningham is the rookie of the year. LaMelo Ball is sixth man of the year. Look at that absolute stud. Um, Anthony Davis, defensive player of the year. And Tyrese Hilliburton is going to be our most improved player. And Lloyd Pierce is the coach of the year. Um, so let's see. Did we make any of these? I would assume probably not. Um, Jimmy Butler, all defensive starting team. Or uh, first team, I mean. Uh, yeah, so we did not we did not make any uh, special teams here. We did also not make the playoffs. So we'll we'll sim the playoffs here and see what we got. Uh, after making the NBA Finals, Minnesota has failed to make make the playoffs. That's embarrassing. Um, and the former champions, Milwaukee Bucks, are eliminated in the first round. So. Uh, rip the hometown teams. Uh, our team isn't in here either, so we have nothing really at stake here. Um, so Philly versus Brooklyn. So and then the Lakers versus Philly in the NBA Finals. The Lakers. Oh, did, did they blow through one lead? Did they blow? Oh, and they held on to it. So the Lakers have won the championship. LeBron is the Finals MVP. Um, and we'll we'll move on here. Uh, so, player retirements. Um, Andre Iguodala. Uh, let's see. Do we have any other? J.R. Smith. He's gone. Um, Rajon Rondo. Andrew Bogut. J.J. Barea. Other than that, no one really of uh, consequence here. P.J. Tucker. Um... Austin Rivers, he didn't have, how long was he in here for? Not very long. Um, so, yeah, there's that. All right, so we're here at the uh, player progression period. Kevin Malone has gained two overall, so that's that's a dub there. Uh, Frank has also gained one. So we'll look at our, his stats here. Um, contract, quick, he has a, he has a team option coming up here. Um, so we'll see what happens with that, but... Uh, he's added a playmaking badge to his repertoire, and let's see his uh, career stats here. Ooh, so he, wait, um, career stats. So he picked up here, points per game, 6.9, nice. Uh, <laughs> rebounds per game, about the same, um, pretty flat here, not, not performing extremely well for a, for a uh, first pick there. Frank is doing well, you know, in the league. He's he's holding his own. So we're uh, getting into season three here. Um, the team did pretty horrible last season, but hopefully we can pick it up this season. We sent Kevin Love to uh, big man offense camp. Um, I don't know. Hopefully he gains something out of that. We'll we'll see what we can get here. Um, hopefully hopefully our boy Kevin Malone can pick things up and. Uh, Keep her moving in the NBA here. Um, yeah, we'll uh, we'll sim to the All Star draft here. All right, so um, Giannis and Stephen Curry are the All Star captains. Um, let's see what we got here. Have we made it? We have not. Not even close. Um, yeah, we we have failed to make it again. Um, the Heat are. Struggling pretty hard to be honest. We're 18 and 30. So let's see. What we got Kevin Malone is down two overall. Um, and Frank has fallen to our seventh man spot. But he's he's on fire. So I don't know. We'll we'll keep you updated on that. Um, Reggie Jackson uh, is our starting point guard. He that's terrible. We have a 73 overall starting point guard. That's probably not helping our cause. Miami Heat are falling apart, ladies and gentlemen, and unfortunately, Kevin Malone is a part of that uh, regression as of now. It's so for season three, we do have Giannis as the MVP. However, he's on the Hornets, um, so big, big league shakeup there. Um, Ebony Bates uh, is our rookie of the year. 
Sixth man of the year again, LaMelo Ball. Um, <laughs> repeat, I guess. Didn't advance to a starter spot, but won sixth man of the year. Anthony Davis, defensive player of the year. Most improved players, Caleb Love. And Steve Clifford is the coach of the year. So um, we'll go into uh, the offseason here. Um, I don't even, we don't even have to look at that. There's no way we made any of them. Um, simulate the playoffs. Uh, we did not make it. We had, we might have been the worst team in the league. I can't speak, but uh, I'd say yes, probably. And, oh, the Wolves. Oh, can they come back from a 3-1 lead? Can they do it? Can they pull it off? They pulled it off. They they beat the Thunder coming back from a 3-1 lead. Um, and, oh, they might do it. Okay, they they advanced to the conference finals here against New Orleans. Uh, Atlanta beats the Knicks in a 4-0. And the Timberwolves are yet again in the finals. And for the first time in, C in franchise history, the Timberwolves are NBA champions. Oh, you love to see it. You love to see it. Um, D'Angelo Russell is is the uh, Finals MVP. Let's just pray that that happens in real life, ladies and gentlemen. Um, we'll move on to the off season here. Uh, pretty pretty incredible run there by the Timberwolves. Um, player retirements. LeBron James retires from the league three years after the beginning of the Kevin Malone series. Carmelo's gone. Dwight Howard's gone. Lamarcus Aldridge. Rudy Gay. And Robin Lopez, Mark Saul, just Taj Gibson, Jeff Teague, uh, Michael Beasley, man, some big names. Isaiah Thomas, lots of lots of people leaving the league here. League here. Um, Miles Plumley, Bobin, Bobin has retired. Oh, that's devastating. A uh, league without Bobin is not not a league I want to be a part of, honestly. Um, big one here though. LeBron James retires at age 38 from the NBA. Um, we'll look at the Hall of Fame inductees. Uh, let's see who we got here. Um, LeBron James, Dwight Howard, and Carmelo Anthony. So, LeBron James is inducted into the Hall of Fame class of 2023. Um, man, he's gone. He's gone, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed while well, well, we had him here. Uh, and we'll, we'll advance to the, uh, to the player progression here. Um, man, LeBron is gone. What a, what a season, or what a career. He's got to go down as one of the, one of the greatest of all time. Definitely top three. Um, and he's gone just like that. Didn't, didn't go out on top. He won, he won his finals, um, in 2022 uh in 2023 though I, I don't even know if they made the playoffs to be honest but they uh they had they had um quite the career there from lebron james um leaving the league as a laker and being inducted into the hall of fame probably for i don't even know what team um player progression here's what we're Really looking at here, Kevin Malone up to uh, up to an 86 overall. Um, let's see what he's got here. He pretty much was trash this year, except his rebounds were up. So that that is what we like to see. Um, let's see if he uh, added any badges. He did not. Um, and his contract is coming up. Uh, I think I don't even I don't know where to like find it but he he could be leaving the heat soon to be honest um we're oh no oh no ladies and gentlemen he's gone he's gone just like that without a trace man you hate to see it you really do um where do y'all frank minsky to the magic um and looks like he's not going to be playing much under Nikola Jokic. That that's devastating to see, ladies and gentlemen. Um, we'll uh, we'll bring it around here for season four, though. So, yeah. All right. So, um, entering season four, uh, this will probably be 
the last season we have on this video, part one of what would happen if uh, Michael started Kevin. Um, Kevin Malone entered the NBA. He hasn't really made a splash, but um, we'll see. It's He's only three years in. Things could definitely uh, get, go from here, so we'll, uh, we'll sim to the All-Star draft yet again. Um, yeah, so that'll be that'll be it for this video after this season. So, um, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, feel free to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Um, we still got some more going, so uh, don't worry about that yet. But we'll uh, we'll keep her moving here onto the onto the All Star game. All right, so we're here at the uh, at the All Star break. Um, Giannis and Stephen Curry yet again are the uh, captains. So let's see what we got. Um, nope, we are not, we are not here, unsurprisingly. Um, I don't know that we're ever going to make it. The Heat, uh, yet again, just absolutely collapsing. I don't, I don't know what's, what's going on with that. We're going to have to try to get out of this, uh, organization as quickly as we can. Um, for now, though, we'll look at the coaching, um, Kevin Malone is down two overall. Um, let's see what he's got for stats. Um, let's see, has he had any badges? No, he's not. Um, career stats. Um, he just, I don't know, not really doing anything particularly well here. He gets he gets a lot of rebounds. That's about it. He's Otherwise, he's struggling. He's been he's been a big time bust here for the Heat, um, taking first overall. But we'll uh, we'll bring us to the end of the season here, um, end of season four. I don't know. He's we're struggling up to this point. All right. So yet again, Giannis reigning over the MVP, um, or in the NBA. I mean, but uh, oh, Bronny, Bronny is the Rookie of the Year for the Chicago Bulls. That's what we like to see. One, one uh, LeBron James out the door, the, the next one steps in. So, uh, sixth man of the year, RJ Hampton. Defensive player, yet again, Anthony Davis. Uh, D. Heisen Nix is the most improved player. And Lloyd Peace is the coach of the year again. So, um, I doubt we'll be on any of these. Christian Jones has made the all-rookie first team. So that's uh, good looking up for a franchise there. Um, but we will uh, look here. Um, the Minnesota Timberwolves reigning champions are now the seventh seed facing the Lakers. And we're, we're obviously not here. That's not a surprise, to be honest. But, um, yeah, the, the Heat organization, I don't know. Having somebody on the first NBA all-team is looking up, but... Uh, other than that, we're basically in collapse here. Um, the Wolves, yet again, looks like, uh-oh, uh-oh, are they going to blow through one lead? Oh, and they sneak one out, and they're uh, advancing to the conference finals here against the Pels. Um, and they're back at the championship against the Sixers. Yet again, can they back-to-back? -back? Are, are they going to blow through one lead? They blew, they blew a 3-1 lead for the championship. Oh, man. Rough, rough night to be a Timberwolves fan, but they did, they did win it last year. Um, ben Simmons, your uh, Finals MVP, and we'll continue here on to the off season. This could be an interesting one because I believe uh, Kevin's Kevin's contract might have expired here. So, uh, player retirements: Al Horford, Brooke Lopez, Thaddeus Young, Javale, George Hill, um, Eric Bledsoe, penis cancer. Um, Mason Plumley. Other than that, that's about it. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, I did say penis cancer. Um, we'll advance past that, and um, go on to player progression. But what we're gonna look at here um, is really if we have, if we still have Kevin on the Heat. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I was if I was Kevin Malone. I don't know that I would stay with the Heat to be honest. His, his career has kind of gone here to die. Um, 
after after winning the Rucker and then getting drafted number one overall, he's basically been a bust, and the Heat the Heat are not really helping him out. Um, but I don't, I don't know, man. We'll we'll see if we can uh, get some improvement here. Hopefully, hopefully Kevin Malone will develop into at least a solid player. You know what I'm saying? Um, right now he's just been an utter bust. But player progression um, on the Heat. That is that is right, ladies and gentlemen. Taco Falls join the Heat. Um, but that is right. You see, your eyes do not deceive you. Kevin Malone has left the Miami Heat. Um, let's see who's let's see who's joined here. Um, uh, I don't know if he's even gonna be in a starting lineup anymore. So, Frank, Frank, oh never mind, he's top five, but he's uh. He's not. He's not a starter. Um, or maybe he is, but I don't know. Uh, I haven't found him so far. Um, I, I'm not sure where he went. To be completely honest with you guys, Mo Bamba playing for the Wolves. Um, but that's not what we're looking for here. Andrew Wiggins for the Warriors still. Uh, where has he gone? Where has he gone? Um, let's see. This is just a quick recap, I guess, for you guys, too, on teams here. But we've gone all the way around. He's not a starter. Um, I'll, I'll look for him for you guys. But, yeah, there was, that was a quick view around the league, I guess. Um, but, yeah, I'll, I'll find him quick. So... Apparently, I just scrolled past Kevin Malone without seeing him, but he is the power forward for the Clippers. Um, he's he's been moved. Um, he's the number one player on the Clippers, I guess. So, uh, next next episode should be interesting to see what'll happen. But um, that'll wrap it up for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, feel free to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Um, make sure you get those post notifications on. And check back probably tomorrow or the next day for Kevin Malone uh, Sim Career Mode Part 2. Just a little mini-series, I guess. And uh, as always, stay safe, have a good day, and I'll see you guys later.